gold line executives have been charged with fraud. Vindication is sweet, Lewis. Years ago, I called the gold line scam a scam. And now it appears that investigators agree. We had, I, I've only told, I think I've told the story on the bonus show. We had an investigation going of Goldline. And we actually, uh, Goldline caught wind of it. And I received phone calls from both Goldline public relations representatives and Goldline legal representatives saying, we're not trying to scare you from running the piece, but they said a whole bunch of other stuff meant to scare me from running the piece. And you know what? It actually kind of worked because we talked to lawyers about it and they said, um, you know, given where the show was at the at the at the time. We were taking a risk by by running the story that we had worked on related to Goldline. And I can tell you when you called up Goldline at the time, they tell you that they're personal fans of Glenn Beck. They make up all sorts of stuff. They won't tell you very straight, very directly. What is the price per ounce of gold that you're actually paying? They avoid answering that question very, very directly. And the court has been charged, no surprise to me, surprise to some, with uh, a, a number of different charges that include theft by false pretenses, false advertising, conspiracy, according to the city attorney's office. And they're also accusing the former CEO, Mark Alberian, and also executives Robert Fazio and Louis Bealey, and a bunch of different salespeople of defrauding customers, which we know that they were doing. Current CEO Scott Carter is accused of making false and misleading statements, and this the, these are charges that carry a maximum of a, a year in jail and a maximum fine of ten thousand per offense. They will get very very little in the end, I assume. But the idea is that the the heart of this is Goldline profits not by selling bullion, but by persuading people to buy these collectible coins. And what's incredible is if you buy into that doomsday scenario where money will be worth nothing and you will need gold will be the only thing of value. You are going to basically get the melt value for the gold. Why on earth would you be spending money on rare collectible coins, which are not going to have value above and beyond the melt value? It's, it's a scam. We also heard um, I don't remember from who we heard from someone that uh, they thought it's better to buy coins because um, Right. It was our guest who is an expert in journalism and prophecy. I forget her name. She was on just a couple of weeks ago. No, no, and no, no. Something. No, this was long before that. Oh, so, was it? Someone who said that some of these uh, gold companies, when you when you send them pieces of gold, actually might be shaving off <laughs> some of some of the gold. Well, in theory, to pr to protect you from doing that, the coins are made with kind of notched outer borders right. so that you can tell if there's been shaving done there. Right. Uh, but you're right. And you know what? Many, many gold line customers are finding, and they've told ABC News this on the record, that it was difficult or impossible to sell those coins without losing money because gold line is charging such a premium on something that is already being sold way above the actual weight value of that gold. I don't, I, I just don't know how people keep falling for these things, but stay away. Stay. If this is any indication, stay away. Don't listen to Glenn Beck. That, well, that, that, that's a completely separate issue we could address.